Today, our STEM challenge is we're going to make a paddle boat. A paddle boat, a boat that can be moved based on paddles. You know, we all know different types of boats. For instance, the sailboat. How does the sailboat actually move or any boat? Boats move because of energy that thrusts them forward. For instance, the sailboat. The sailboat sails will harness the wind and then it will move forward. If we have a canoe boat or rowboat, we use paddles and we use our energy to row those paddles and move and thrust that boat forward. A jet boat? Well, a jet boat uses an engine. An engine will move or thrust that boat forward. Today, with our paddle boat, we're going to use elasticity energy. Remember, there are two types of energy. Potential energy, energy that is stored, and kinetic energy, energy that is released. With elastic energy, the further you pull it back, the more stored energy you're going to give it. And the more stored energy there is, there's going to be a greater thrust if you give it more energy. The less energy you give it, there's less stored energy stored in there when you pull it at a shorter distance and you don't get much movement out of it. Well, we can look at the rubber band this way and we have energy, but the energy is going to come in this way. But with our paddle boat, we're going to twist and when it unwinds, when it twists, that energy is stored. But when it unwinds, it's going to release the paddle, which is going to move the boat forward. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science, teacher where it's all about science. Let's get started on this STEM challenge. Before you start, you will need adult supervision, someone in the room to help you make your paddle boat. And if you have safety goggles, put those on also. For this STEM challenge, you're just going to need a few supplies. Some forks, two, a plastic bottle, some tape, marker, two plastic cups or two plastic paper plates and some scissors. We're going to start first by taking our two forks and taping these on to the plastic bottle. Make sure your bottle is upside down. And when you put your fork on, you want to make sure that you have it up high enough. Take your tape, one side, make sure the next fork is even with the first one. And you're going to tape this side. Now we're going to tape it, so I notice mine slid down, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Make sure they're even. Now we're going to take our tape and we're going to seal it. Then we're going to take another piece and put here at the top to hold this part in place. And last we want to take the bottom parts. So you want to look at it again, make sure it's taped well. Now we're going to make the paddles. We're going to take our two cups and keep them together. Or you can just take one out. And we're going to take our boat and put it above. And between the two forks, you want to put a black dot using your marker. Thank you. 
after you get those two on, you want to cut it out. Put that other cup back in so you get both cut out at the same time. This does work better with a plastic plate because it's smooth. But remember on my channel, we use whatever supplies we have that's recyclable that we can reuse so that we don't have to go and spend extra money. Now that we have these two together, we're going to even this out a little bit. We're going to cut this top part off. And I'm going to just make sure they're the same. Now that we have these two pieces, I'm going to take them and keep them together and cut a slit about halfway up. After I cut the two slits, we're going to put these two together, just slide them in together. Just like that. Now we're going to take some tape. Tape one side, tape the next side, then bend this back, Let's see, bend this back and you're going to put some tape here. And one more piece on this side. Now, if you have any tape extra, you can just trim that off. Now, you should have a paddle that looks like this. So I'm going to try to shape mine, and you can shape yours however you want. So I'm just going to cut around the sides. And then I'm going to take it and test just to make sure it's not too wide or it's not hanging too low to touch the bottom. So that looks pretty good. So that's what you're looking for. Now that we've done that part, we're going to take our rubber band, slide it in between the two forks, as such. When you put your paddle on, you want to put it where the rubber band is between the X. So you want to slide it in. So it's on two sides. Okay, let's twist and see if I twist in the right direction. Yes, and it moved. Now, I need a bigger container for this, but we're going to twist it again. See how far back we can come. And it pushes it, thrusts it forward, and you see the paddles keep moving. So I decided to cut the front of the boat off. Let's see if this will work. We're going to put, we're going to put our paddles back in. We're going to twist it, put it in the water, and release. Ah, I twisted the wrong way because it's going backwards. Let's try it again.
ferret thrust. Now I will tell you the downside about cutting the front off. The opening will cause water to come in and when that water comes in it's going to eventually sink. So it's best to leave it on there. Let's test one more time. There we go. All right, friends, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoyed this STEM challenge. If you do, leave me a comment below. And if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I hope you click that like button and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any fun summer videos related to STEM and science. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.